I suggested it might be polite to call before we came barging in, Mary. After all, you might have been busy. And I said you'd want to know what we know right away. I'll never understand her logic. What on earth is wrong, Toby? You look furious. Right now, I could chew a steel bar and spit nails, Mary. This apartment complex is turning into a slum. Not true, Toby. You're not sure that Dudley Ford is moving in. What makes you think he is? He sent an email bragging about becoming our neighbor. When Toby heard a vacant apartment has been leased, she leaped to a conclusion. You don't even know Dudley Ford, Ian. You haven't seen him or talked to him in person. More importantly, you haven't been alone with him in the same room, and I have. That boy has a screw loose up here, mister, and I don't want to be living here when things come apart. As usual, Toby is overreacting to a non-problem, Mary. I'm sure Mary would agree there is a problem. I don't think she wants a dirty young man for a next-door neighbor. I told Ian there must be something in the bylaws stating that an owner can't rent to an undesirable tenant. And as I pointed out, one must be very careful when tossing around the word undesirable. Ian is right, dear. You shouldn't make unfounded accusations. My worries about Dudley Ford are based on fact, Mary. When this place is surrounded by police cars with flashing lights, remember, I warned you!